All right, it looks like our uh, next map will be on Atlantis Spaceship. And uh, this is, I'm excited about this map. Uh, this is an interesting map. It's not, it's not usually played, you know, it's not in ladder or anything. It's in the GSL, it's, but uh, I've watched some ZVZs on it, and it's pretty interesting to see. Well, I definitely, uh, it will be interesting to see um, It kind of is like a two-person map with with a four-person feel. You know, it's it's big, and it's your bases are like it's it's asymmetric. Well, it's symmetric, but it's like asymmetric down the origin. You could yeah, say. yeah, it's definitely not. Um, the usually, same. yeah, usually you see like uh, like maybe Metalopolis or or Metropolis. Even you know, you've kind of got it mirrored down, like like. The origin of the, but but this one is sort of mirrored down the opposite, and it kind of makes for some interesting plays. Like you know exactly where they spawn, but still, it's like a long macro map. Yeah, and definitely, well, especially a macro map with that uh, rich Vespin geyser in there. So and as you see, oh man, that's gonna be that's big. You know, owning that uh, rich Vespin geyser will mean that you get more, you get more infestors out. You can you can. Uh, Work on some hydras. You can really pump your upgrades out as fast as possible. Yep. Excuse the pun, but the bane of Zerg is the bane of their existence is gas. They never have enough gas. They always have enough minerals, and so you know, having that rich geyser, it'll just open up all forms of opportunities. Well, we should be getting this next match underway. Will Sonata be able to bring it, uh, make a comeback here, or will Swagosaurus swag on through with a quick 2-0 victory? And uh, that will put him in the uh, winner's match to try and go ahead and secure a spot in the, uh, what is that, the quarterfinals, quarterfinals the champion yep. bracket. Absolutely, and you know, I imagine we'll see a lot of Zergs. Uh, I mean, I guess since there are a ton of Zergs in this group, but yep. there are a lot of Zergs in this tournament. And 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 without balance lining, I'm not trying to do that at all. But Zerg is just statistically really strong right now, so we'll see. In, in long macro games, Zerg seems to be doing really well. So I'd imagine a lot of Zergs will make it out. Yeah. Well, so uh, while we have got a moment here, I'll go ahead and uh, say what the race split is. We have uh, seven Zerg, six Terran, and uh, three lonely, lonely Protoss. So, but right now we've got a ZVZ with the pink Sonata spawning in the one o'clock position. His opponent currently up one zero from Florida State University. The green Zerg Swagosaurus. So, um, kind of funny note. I don't know. I don't know how much this has gotten out, and I've heard this uh, before. I got to give uh, Robert Aegis uh, some credit for pointing this one out. So, if you look at the mini map, while well, we've got a second here, uh, what does that look like to you on the mini map? I have seen this. It does look. It does surprisingly like Pedo Bear. Yes, it does. So, uh, whether that was uh, intentional or not, that is uh, the way it is. So. I've even heard it dubbed the pedo map. Not even people don't even call it Atlantis spaceship anymore. It's just the pedo map. Absolutely. Well, let's see. It looks like. Wow. So uh, Swagosaurus oh. going for a tin pool. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And um, it's so with that uh, overlord speed, is Sonata going to send his overlord all the way into the base, or is he going to just kind of put it in a? in just a stagnant spot and let it sit there, that's going to, I think that's going to be the deciding factor here on whether this early, early r cheese is going to, is going to go or not. And, it, well, I guess going down probably for larva. Oh, no, never mind. He's got, he has enough larva, or he has enough supply to keep making it. So, I guess going down early banelings, mostly, or early speed. But, um, and there goes the 15 hatch from Sonata. Yeah, so this this is going to be dangerous. So there is one, two, and three drones on it. So it does look like it will be early speed. And we do already have four lings on the way with uh, no spawning pool. Just goes down for Sonata. So is he going to be in the dark? That uh, Overlord is going down to the second and not the 
Oh, but will it see the Zerglings? Oh, he does see the it Zerglings. It does see the Zerglings. And three-minute Zerglings, a little bit odd. So uh, what is Sonata going to do out of this? He's got... Uh, Really, he's got nothing but drones to defend against this right now. Spawning pool's about 20 seconds away from popping, and then you got to account for uh, the Zerglings after that. So those Yeah, he's going to have a hard time. I mean, with with good micro, you know, he shouldn't take too much damage, but he's definitely he's probably going to lose something here. He can't even get a queen out. Oh, there we go. Some drone yep. stacking going on. Very nice drone stacking there. Let's go ahead and turn the... Uh, health bars on here, see if he can uh, knock out a drone or not. Oh, there he goes. He gets one Zergling. Very nice. Oh! Oh, oh he wow. saves that drone. That drone is a hero drone. Oh, and that drone wants some more. Oh, my gosh. That, that is it there. It is still alive. And uh, ten more Zerglings coming out for Swagasaurus's Baneling Nest down as well. Two Queens for Sonata and two Zerglings of his own. So I think the queens will pay, play a really big part in this because they can just wall off the ramp and then, you know, he puts a spine down and he's fine with two bases. Well, that baneling nest did is about three quarters of the way done and a large swell of zerglings are on the way, but uh, Sonana does know that this is, in fact, coming and there's the two queens. There they are. He needs a spine down, though, probably. Now, six Zerglings of his own to total up to eight. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and pull back into his main, throwing a spine down right at the edge of the creep. Absolutely, that's a great idea because... Oh, there we go. Oh, hold positions. A, perfect hold position. Hold position there. That queen... Will one of the queens fall? The speed is done. Oh! Oh, but the Zerglings... is still... Hit. Oh, this could be bad. This could be oh, absolutely... Oh, coming in. One Baneling does target go down. Down. He target fired down one of them. Oh! Oh, oh no, that was like 12 things. Right that was the money hit for Swagasaurus, and this is looking very, very bad for Sonata. There's... And that is it. Sonata going out. Swagasaurus advancing 2-0. Well, I mean... Whenever you're up 1-0, I mean, you can... You can do whatever you want, so... Absolutely. Spikesaurus, or uh, Sonata, not very happy with that result. Well, yeah.